I met with His Excellency the Governor General and he has agreed to my request that Parliament be dissolved. Mr. Harper has failed Canadians by continuing to give tax breaks to the wealthiest and not understanding that we need to grow the economy by helping the middle class and those working hard to join it. That's what I'm bringing to this campaign and that's what makes me so excited. Canadians have a clear choice. Four more years of Mr. Harper and the Conservatives or my plan for change. In the case of, uh, of Justin, expectations have probably never been lower for a leader going to a debate. If he uh, comes on stage with his pants on, he'll probably exceed expectations. I think Stephen Harper and the Conservatives have shown a consistent distancing from LGBTQ rights. Happy Pride! That's why they want their CPP payroll tax increase, for example. The Justin Wynne, Kathleen Trudeau tax hike. Let me... <laughs> We are not going to make political promises of balancing the budgets when we know that we are right now in deficit uh, and we are going to need to grow our way out of it. But he'll about run a, he says, a modest deficit, a tiny deficit. So small you can hardly see the deficit. We are going to mark a change from past practice of deficit spending that is left to future generations to clear up. And on that, Mr. Trudeau seems to have the same approach as Mr. Harper. You know, the first thing that crossed our mind was, you know, remembering our own son Ben at that age, running around like that. This morning we see a little boy getting picked up on a beach. As a dad and a grandfather, it's just unbearable that we're doing nothing. Canada, um, over the past years has failed to be the country that we like to imagine it to be. You don't get to suddenly discover compassion in the middle of an election campaign. We will help refugees, we will also protect Canadians on security, and we are committed to doing both of these things. When someone joins the Canadian family, there are times in our open, tolerant, pluralistic society that as part of our interactions with each other, we reveal our identity through revealing our face. It is continuing with the politics of division and even fear, and that is not worthy of a country as diverse and extraordinary as Canada. I'm not about the politics of fear and division. Mr. Harper is going to always go after that. He talks about old stock Canadians. That's a code word. He knows what he's doing when he does that. That's I think that's something that Mr. Harper new and existing and, and old stock Canadians agree with. Uh, I was making the point because it had been alleged that the government had removed health care services for immigrants. we've seen over the past years uh, with this government is an approach that has been secretive, uh, non-transparent, uh, that hasn't let Canadians know what it is negotiating and how it is negotiating. I'm very pleased to announce today that Canada is joining the Trans-Pacific Partnership as a founding partner of this landmark agreement. Stephen Harper went into the, those negotiations two weeks away from a federal general election in an incredibly feeble position. Everyone around that table knew it, and they played him like a chump. The Ford brothers should have no place on a national campaign stage, much less hosting a prime minister uh, at an event this weekend. Uh, that's just completely irresponsible. You were governing and campaigning as the law and order guy, yet you brought up Rob Ford, the crack smoking former mayor of Toronto, Doug Ford, who's admitted to smoking marijuana. Doug Ford's organizing a rally for you Saturday. So what's up with that? I think uh, our position on these issues is very well known and the support we've had from, uh, from uh, those individuals for our party is long-standing. When uh, this uh, inappropriate email came to light, uh, we took immediate action. Uh, and Mr. Gagne uh, uh, acknowledged uh, his, uh, the, took responsibility for his actions and stepped away from the campaign. Uh, 